Hi and welcome back to Taste Panel for Chilliners and I had a dream this is episode 136 and hey in that dream I was surrounded by screaming Mexicans like back in the 90s with old death metal days of blah 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 yeah and in that dream I was messing with the wrong Mexican the Boca and Boca and here it is right now so, all right, guys, hey, uh, it's been a long time since we took a trip to Mexico with a hot sauce. All right, last season we spent a lot of time dealing with farmhouse hot sauces, and, uh, yeah, hey, we're not quite done with that because we have a lot of ground to cover with that as well, but I figured this season, hey, we're going to open up those gates to Mexico again because wow there's a lot of hot sauce happening down that way and I am really interested in exploring that and bringing it to you guys so hey the first sauce in I messed with the wrong Mexican uh, yeah there you have it the boca and boca all right, so this sauce is a habanero pepper sauce, and uh, our label is graced with such. Yeah, obviously, an orange habanero sauce at that, as the colors are really brilliant orange, which makes it look all the more appetizing. All right, all right, what does it say here now? We don't really have a whole lot of writing going on it, and it also says no artificial colors, so hey. This is all natural, pretty cool. So, uh, all right, this is uh, manufactured by, wow, this is tough stuff, so bear with me. Commercial Lazadora Patmar, <laughs> okay. And that's out of Yucatan, Mexico. Uh, if you wanna check out uh, the site where you can find the Boca and Boca and probably some other sauces, uh, you can go to www.fuegomaya.com All right, so hey, uh, the ingredients for this lovely sauce is uh, orange habanero peppers, carrots, onion, garlic, vinegar, salt, xanthan gum, spices, and uh, preservatives, sodium, benzoate, ascorbic, and citric acids. Okay, so there you have it. Boca and Boca. So hey, let's see if reality touches my dream a bit, and uh, we'll see if uh, this sauce can put me down. All right. So hey, guys, what we're gonna do here? I'm gonna cut the label quick, and uh, we're gonna get right in to take a, a smell test of this Mexican beauty, and uh, finally get on to tasting it. All right. So there you have it. All right, a plastic bottle this time, and uh, hey, we have a pop-top cap, but this is the panel, so that is coming right off. You know what? I'm going to shake this quick, guys. Yeah, get all that moving around in there, so uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. There we go. All right, wow. Kind of a, kind of a, a pungent nose, picking up a... Uh, Picking up some garlic, picking up some vinegar tang, uh, picking up the kind of the earthy fruitiness of those peppers, and also kind of picking up that sweaty underarm thing that we caught on several sauces in the past. I'm starting to think that that has something to do with kind of a raw habanero smell. I'm not sure about that. Uh, kind of a Kind of, it's not an unpleasant aroma because that's kind of pushed in the distance. But yeah, I still, I still smell that a bit, and it hasn't affected the flavor of the sauces in the past. So hey, here we go with this beauty. One look at that. You know what? I'm gonna show you the texture first, and uh, hey, then we're gonna roll with that. Yeah, there you go. Looking kind of on the thick side. Some seeds, some pulp in there. And wow, again, that lovely color happening. So now I am set to go. All right, the 
Boca and Boca orange habanero sauce. Wow, yeah, kind of, kind of chunky. Got kind of lots of seeds in there. And, uh, whoa, really definitely picking up on a pungent garlic aroma. And again, kind of giving us that sweaty underarm aroma. So, wow, I don't know, but here it goes. Mmm. First of all, off the bat, a bit on the salty side for certain. Salt really, really catching the tongue, um, biting down on those seeds. Also releasing a bit of heat in my mouth at the minute. So, yeah, kind of bringing, bringing forth that uh, really salty character. Crunching down, also getting a like kind of a raw habanero taste, a little bit on the flat side there. I'm not picking up too much of those uh, those citrusy notes that I usually equate to, uh, to orange habanero sauces. But yeah, kind of kind of picking up with this guy on those uh, on the kind of a musty. Yeah, musty, sweaty taste going on in there as well. Kind of picking up on those flavors that uh, that I picked up also in the nose. So uh, the scent of it is kind of translating in the taste with this guy. Uh, I don't know if that is all that pleasant. Uh, however, uh, all is not lost as we have a bit of a garlicky note hanging in there. We do have a decent heat. Like I said, lots of seeds, lots of pepper pulp. Biting down on that, kind of, uh, kind of igniting my, kind of getting my whole tongue, but particularly, kind of, uh, kind of boomeranging across the front of my tongue and kind of back to the center tongue and bringing flanging ends out along the sides of the tongue so wow from the center to the tip though really getting some heat building up there uh, as usual the mucous membranes on the sides of the cheeks also catching some heat from the boca and boca getting a little gas going on there as well so yeah definitely uh, definitely providing quite a bit of heat the roof of my mouth is going and uh Kind of, yeah, kind of those raw, flat habanero notes hanging in there as well at the minute. So, uh, so, describing the whole experience here, uh, we get some of that saltiness hits real quick. Kind of get a little garlicky note in there as well, kind of a garlic salt note. Um, yeah, kind of picking up with those weird, uh, almost earthy, musty tastes. Uh... And then uh, getting that flat habanero taste settling over the tongue. And uh, that's what remains along with the heat. So, uh, yeah. Wow. A, uh, definitely a relatively hot one in our tri trip back to Mexico. Uh, whether this is truly the wrong Mexican to mess with, I... Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe those m little musty tastes there are kind of uh, a little bit of a negative leaning on the profile of the sauce, but uh, heat-wise, pretty good and uh, kind of settled into a into a decent flavor. Again, a little bit of garlic lingering, some habanero, fresh pepper notes, and uh, yeah, quite a bit of heat going on. So yeah, hey. Uh, Hey, not so bad, it uh, kind of, if I can be so bold as to say, uh, kind of looks a little more attractive than the flavor or the nose, um, uh, the flavor of the nose provide. So, uh, however, uh, 
food, as we all know, will be the ultimate test for a sauce like this. So hey, I will have to see how things roll when we put it on some food. Well, anyway, 